What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So I want to share something with you guys that you know I couldn't believe when I first saw this. I couldn't believe it because I just googled it just to be able to see engage, you know, where they were in their respective careers, and um, this stat to me proves that Giannis is the most dominant player in the NBA and that as great a performer as Kyrie Irving is, we might have to reassess not just his leadership ability, but how impactful is he at times? Because this doesn't make any sense. Look, <clears throat> Kyrie arrived in the NBA a couple of seasons before Giannis, correct? And you look at the teammates that Kyrie have had. He's played with LeBron James, obviously. Went to an NBA Finals, won a championship. He's played with Jason Tatum. <clears throat> He's played with... Uh, of course, Kevin Durant, still playing with Kevin Durant. He's played with James Harden until recently. He's playing with LaMarcus Aldridge, who's a borderline Hall of Famer himself. Borderline, very borderline right now. Um, but I think if he keeps playing a couple more years, his case improves. So he's played with some, some guys, right? Giannis, the best player he's really played with is Chris Middleton who is a borderline all-star. But do you know that Giannis has more career victories than Kyrie Irving? Now, I know some of this is because of, of injury and also because of games that he's missed this year. You know, he's missed a lot of games. I think in the 10 years that Kyrie has played, he's only really been healthy two or three of those seasons. But still, when you look at Kyrie and from 2014 through now, he's consistently been on teams that have at least been, if not championship level, at least contending level. Giannis had a very, very slow start with the Bucks, and you know, the last 30 years, the Bucks have been a laughing stock of a franchise, with the exception of maybe one or two seasons. So you look at the fact that Giannis has more career victories under his belt than Kyrie Irving, and they basically have the same winning percentage. Um, technically, Giannis has a slightly higher winning percentage. Kyrie's at 54.7%. Kyrie has won 54.7% of the games that he has played. Giannis has won 54.8% of the games that he has played so far. And I, I have a feeling that <clears throat> as their careers as their careers go on, Giannis is going to improve in that situation. Uh, and I think Kyrie is probably going to maybe go up a little bit, but then begin the flat line. That's just, impre that's just amazing to me. Giannis is amazing, man. Well, people just don't want to get to do his, his props. They don't like the way he plays. It, 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 it sort of reminds me of how people didn't give Tim Duncan his flowers when he played. Now they pretend to. They, they said the same things. He was boring and all of that. Uh, he wasn't exciting. I never understood that. Uh, I like, oh, if a guy can put the ball in the basket, I don't give a fuck how he looks. Fuck style points. Fuck how you look. People would rather look at James Harden look skillful missing than see Giannis look, I guess, quote, less skillful, turn up the lead. Are you that fixated on style on style over substance? But um I know one thing. It's quite apparent that the mainstream media needs to get with it because they're still, they are still, 
showing idolatry and adulation to players that, that are no longer dominating the NBA. Kevin Durant and LeBron James may not even make the play-in tournament. And they, they're spending so much time talking about these has-beens. They're a bunch of has-beens. You know what I'm saying? If Giannis was a nasty dude, <laughs> he should be like Club Elaine when he told fucking Apollo, I don't need no has-been jinxed up my corner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a bunch of has-beens. I know LeBron James and Kenny fans don't want to hear that shit, but <clears throat> right now, I've been telling you guys this for a couple of years. I said that we're transitioning to a new age. This is a league that's going to slowly begin to become more and more dominated by the younger players. We're in a generation of John Morant and Giannis Antetokounmpo especially, Luka Doncic, you know, to a lesser extent, Nikola Jokic. This isn't LeBron James' league anymore. But it is what it is. Tell me what you guys think.